something rather impossible is happening in deep space. A comet has lost its tail, defied physics, grown mysteriously brighter when it should have become dull and now the world's most powerful telescopes are hunting for answers to a question that is leaving many puzzled. Take a look. Comets don't behave like this. Ever until now. 3i Atlas arrived from interstellar space. A visitor from beyond our solar system traveling through the cosmic void for millions of years. Astronomers expected a frozen relic behaving according to centuries of celestial mechanics. Instead, they're witnessing something that challenges everything we understand about how objects move through space. Look at these latest images. The tail vanished. Comets develop tails when solar radiation vaporizes surface ice creating spectacular streams of gas and dust millions of kilometers long. 3i Atlas had a tail, then it didn't. New images show a compact, brilliant object without the signature feature that defines comets. The physics shouldn't allow this. Yet the tail is gone. Then came the acceleration. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, the scientist behind theories about alien technology, detected unexplained velocity changes. 3i Atlas is speeding up in ways that natural outgassing cannot explain. Something is propelling this object, something we don't understand. Anomalies must have a physical reason. And uh, uh, for me, the most difficult ones to explain are the fact that the trajectory aligns with the ecliptic plane of the planets because uh, uh, there is no possible explanation for that. The brightness is equally baffling. As 3i Atlas moves away from the sun, it should dim. Basic astrophysics demands it. Instead, the object grows more luminous. Observatories worldwide confirm the measurement. The data is undeniable. The explanation is missing. China has joined the hunt. The world's fastest growing space power has clicked these images using its Mars orbiter Tianwen-1 to unravel mysteries of 3i Atlas. Because 3i Atlas follows a hyperbolic orbit, unlike the elliptical orbits of objects around the Sun, it clearly originates from beyond the solar system and will eventually move away from it. Tonight, the skies beyond our atmosphere hold their own secrets. 3i Atlas continues its silent passage, burning ever brighter, tailless and unbowed. For a brief window, we stand witness to something ancient, something alien, or perhaps simply nature unbound. Either way, watching, waiting, wondering. Shifting focus, the victorious Indian Women's World Cup team met the Indian Prime Minister at his residence. Prime Minister Modi had a lengthy conversation with the world champions and during that interaction, batter Harleen Deol had her teammates in a fits of laughter when she playfully asked the Prime Minister about his skincare routine. Here's a look at that light-hearted and humorous moment. Sir, I'm asking you about your skincare routine. You are very glow, sir. मैं मैं मेरा इस विषय पर ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं गया था सर ये करोड़ों देशवासियों का प्यार है अब ये तो है ही है जी ये बहुत बहुत बड़ी ताकत होती है समाज से इतना क्योंकि अब मेरा सरकार में भी 25 साल हो गए हैं हेड ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट तो ये लंबा समय होता है उसके बाद भी इतने जब आशीर्वाद मिलते हैं तो उसका एक तो प्रभाव रहता है Let's now get to the latest on the first phase of voting in the Bihar election. That's now complete. The second phase is scheduled for November 11. The results will be declared on November 14. According to the Indian Election Commission, around 64.46% voter turnout has been recorded in the first phase. Under the Election Commission's International Electors Visitor Program, 16 delegates from seven countries, Indonesia, Colombia, the Philippines, France, Belgium, South Africa, Thailand visited the polling booths at Patna 
to review the arrangements made by the Election Commission of India. Uh, the Bihar contest will see the Nitish Kumar-led National Democratic Alliance take on its uh, primary rival, the Congress-led Grand Alliance. In fact, uh, this contest uh, will also see the Assembly election debut of strategist turned politician Prashant Kishore's party. Since the 2020 Assembly elections, the composition of the alliances in Bihar has changed. The Mukesh Sahani-led party joined forces with the opposition. In fact, the LJP, RV and RLM are now in the National Democratic Alliance. A lot has changed. In fact, LJP, RV is contesting from 29 seats, making it the largest junior ally in that alliance. The BJP and GDU settled for 101 seats each. Smaller allies like uh, uh, the HAM and Upendra Kushwa's RLM were each given only six seats, in fact, and the RJD is contesting 142 seats in the Mahagad Bandhan with 61 seats for the Congress. There are 20 seats for the CPIML, 10 for VIP, 9 for the CPI, 4 for CPIM, 2 for the debutant Indian Inclusive Party. Nomination papers were rejected. Uh, three candidates, two from the VIP, one from RGD. So in total, the alliance has 251 candidates in the fray, three seats without an alliance candidate. Meanwhile, 11 seats are set for to witness friendly fights between the allies. Uh, in 2020, remember, the NDA secured a majority in the assembly, winning 125 seats, whereas the Grand Alliance won 110 seats. The BJP, JDU, HAM, VIP formed the NDA in the 2020 polls. The BJP, meanwhile, improved its position between the 2015 and 2020 polls. It won 53 of 157 seats it contested in 2015 and 74 of 110 seats in 2020. The JDU, meanwhile, saw a dip in its performance over the last two elections. Nitish Kumar's party won 71 seats out of the 101 it contested in 2015 and 43 of 115 in 2020. Meanwhile, the Congress, the RJD and the left parties formed the Grand Alliance. The RJD showed a strong performance, having won 80 of the 101 seats that it contested in 2015 and 75 of the 144 seats it fought in 2020. The Congress experienced a decline in performance, having won 27 seats in 2015 and then 19 seats in 2020. The BJP is probably looking at uh, Chirag Paswan not merely as a junior partner, but also as a strategic asset. With Chief Minister Nitish Kumar seeking a 10th term, the LJP RV seats could prove pivotal in government formation. Even though the LJP failed to perform in 2020, it registered a 100% success rate in the 2024 general election, winning all five of the five seats it contested. When you think of the Trudeau family, politics perhaps comes to mind. But Xavier Trudeau, the eldest son of former Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, is likely to be changing that perception. After being one of the newest names in Canada's rap scene, born in 2007 to Justin and Sophie Trudeau, he has grown up in the public eye from accompanying his father on diplomatic visits, which included a high-profile trip to India in 2023, to showing up regularly on his father's social media. He has been a familiar face, but now the 18-year-old is stepping out of his father's shadow and into his own rhythm. He recently released new rap tracks online, surprising many who expected him to follow his father into politics. In an interview, he admitted life as the son of a former prime minister isn't always easy. He said he feels a lot of external pressure, but made it clear politics is not his calling. His mother, meanwhile, has shared glimpses of his life off stage. Several Miss Universe contestants staged a dramatic walkout after the Miss Universe Thailand director publicly berated Miss Mexico at a pre-passion ceremony, reportedly. The confrontation began when uh, he reprimanded her for failing to post required promotional content. And when she reportedly objected, he escalated the situation. He called the security, threatened to disqualify any contestant who stood in solidarity with her. 
She left the room. Many others, including the reigning Miss Universe, opted to stand with her fellow contestant. And a video of the incident, which was live streamed, showing several contestants shouting back at him as he raised his voice and told her to stop talking. Despite his threat, many women were seen affirming their support. The Miss Universe organization swiftly condemned his quote-unquote malicious behavior, stating he had humiliated, insulted, and showed a lack of respect, quote-unquote. The MUO president uh, announced that uh, Nawaz's participation would be severely limited or eliminated and that they would be taking legal action against him. And the contestant later told the press that the executive was not respectful and claimed he had called her dumb, quote-unquote, a claim that Nawaz disputed, saying that his words were misunderstood, reportedly. Despite the controversy, for which he has since apologized to the contestants, the competition has continued.